Today I want to talk to you about how to handle your to-do list. And of course that's a topic related to time management. My name is Tineke Rense from Powerful Business Academy and I help self-employed businesswomen building a business and stopping to having to do everything on your own. What, what, what is a to-do list? Uh, a to-do list is a list of all the tasks you still have to do. And I don't know how you create your to-do list, but there are some categories um, to prioritize your to-do list. So first of all, um, make sure they are in categories as will make me money, uh, nice to have, um, a deadline towards someone else or something else, for example a launch or you promised someone uh, to deliver something. I like to do or I don't like to do. Yeah, we will, do I like it? Yes or no? And the most important thing when, when you have a lot of tasks is always focus on what is going to make you sales. Because, well, in my world, I always help women to scale and grow a business. You cannot grow if you don't sell more. However, you have to have a solid foundation. So if you're overwhelmed and if you have too many things to do um, and it gives you stress, we need to look at something else. What we need to look at is why do you even perceive stress? Because stress is never needed. Your to-do list is not telling you, hey, you have to have stress because I have so many tasks here. Yeah? And you might think this is ridiculous, but actually it is. Why do you feel stressed when there are so many things to do? So there are things you are telling yourself subconsciously. I don't know how to do this. I've never done this task. What will they say? What if I make mistakes? I don't know where to start. I can't do this. There are lots and lots and lots of things we are telling ourselves. It's too much. I don't know if I can cope with all of this. So there, there's, there's a lot of things we, uh, we talk to uh, ourselves in our head. And those are the things that will give us stress. So it's not about the to-do list at all. It's about what we are saying about the tasks on the to-do list or the amount of tasks towards ourselves. And whatever we say to ourselves is something we can change. You don't have to see, say all those things I just uh, summed up for you. There's no reason you have to say that. But you do. Because you've ex had experiences that relate to it. You might have low self-esteem. You might have missed deadlines and had to face the consequences. You might have not been able to do a task because you, you, you have never done it. You might have procrastinated that much that you missed the deadlines. So you have proof to feel all those concerns. Now, all those concerns are things that happened in the past. And what you're doing is you're projecting the, the experiences of the past towards the outcome in the future. And that's why you feel stress now, in the now. And you're the only person doing that towards yourself. And if you can start to see that, a deadline should never, uh, a to-do list should never give you stress. It's just some tasks on a list. That's all it is. Now, if you don't know where to start, okay, that's something else. So you need help. If you have the belief that you're not good enough, you have to work on yourself and you have to um, work on self-esteem. If you really have too many things to do, which is also a possibility, you need to start looking at where can I start to automate things. And initially we don't like doing that because either we don't know how to do it or how it works and we make it too big or we don't know, um, we, we, we assume it's costing us a, a lot of extra time. And yes, that's the case in the beginning. 
So it is worth to invest that extra time to start the whole automation off. But once that is done, it's done. So for example, creating appointments, for me, it's completely automated. There's various tools working together and it's all automated. It's in my calendar, I see it pop up, you will get emails, you get SMS, you get reminders, and you will be on my email list and will get my blogs and my videos. All of that is automated. I don't have to do anything. Yes, it did cost me time. And I have many processes like that in my business and you can do that too. The other thing, when you really have too much to do, um, and when you're not making it only big in your head or in your mind, is that you need to start delegating. Remember in the beginning I said, what is it that I don't like doing? Well, you shouldn't do it. You should have someone else do it. And also that costs time. You need to train someone. They need to have the time to do it. They need to get accustomed to how you would like to see their output. Yes, it all takes time. But this is the only way for you to build a solid foundation to be, to be uh, able to grow, to scale and grow your business. Um, so prioritize in the categories that I gave you. Automate and delegate. Work on your mind, always, that's the most important. And then a lot will change. There's one more thing I would like to address and that is procrastination because it often has to, uh, to do with the to-do lists. There's two things. You might want to force yourself to do things, that's discipline and hard work. Um, or you can wait until you like to do something. That's my approach. And I will not use that approach, of course, when there is a solid deadline. Um, but when there isn't, I will wait until the moment feels right. And there is another thing why people pro procrastinate. It's because there are things they don't like to be confronted with. They don't like to be confronted with the fact, I don't know how to start. So therefore, ignoring it is easier. I don't think I can do it. What would people say? So often procrastination is the symptom of something a lot deeper within you. It serves you on another level, on a level that you're not aware of, but you can become aware of when you start asking these questions. How does procrastination serve me? And I gave you a few options. It can also serve you that you will miss a deadline and that you then can make yourself wrong again. Because sometimes making ourselves wrong again is such a habit, is such a pattern that we need to make ourselves wrong. This is deep. You might, if your mind now says this is all rubbish, this is all bullshit, it's because it wants to protect you. Because that's what the mind does. So there's two, two approaches towards deadline. It's the practical thing, it's categorizing, it's uh, looking what can you do and what, we, what shouldn't you do. But a whole lot is emotions and mindset. Alright? Now if you think this has been valuable content and if you want to check me out, why don't you schedule a 15 minute call with me? It's just 15 minutes, I will not be selling you in these 15 minutes. It's to check out, hey, where are you with your business? Where can you make big leaps? I cannot sell you in 15 minutes, it's too short. I mean, I, I won't anyway, it's my ethics. I promise and my promises are promises. So if I don't set a promise I don't sell you, I won't sell you. Um, and then after 15 minutes, we can always see, do you want to schedule another call, yes or no? It's up to you. I will know if I want to or not, because I don't want to do that with everybody. It's, it's fair enough, and you should do that too. Comment on the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And tune in for next week's video. Bye-bye.